Yo, what's going on guys? So I'm just doing a quick little tutorial on how you guys can get keyboard and mouse support on Xbox. Now currently, today is the day where keyboard and mouse support is finally meant to come out on Xbox. And I know some of you are probably confused on how to get it working because Xbox and Epic Games hasn't really said anything on how to get it working. But basically this tutorial is going to just show you quickly how you can get keyboard and mouse to work on your Xbox so that you can use it for Fortnite. Now it's actually real simple to do, but not a lot of people know it. All you actually have to do is go to your Xbox store, type in Xbox Insider app, and then basically uh, you just go search it up and then you go download it. Once you downloaded the Xbox Insider app, you're just going to go click into it and uh, follow all the prompts. And then, as you can see in the clip somewhere along this video, what you really got to do is just go to Insider Content and then you'll get different sections. Some of those sections are including... Um, game insider content and you just really want to go to the system insider content you're going to click on that section and you're basically going to follow the prompts accept everything and then really it's just going to have a thing that says pending the whole time because it's trying to you know certify your registration for the insiders uh, group i don't really know what you call it um, for some people it may never actually load mine just said pending the whole time now if that's the problem for you what you're simply going to do is you're going to go exited after about uh, let's say five minutes or three minutes or just even two okay whatever amount of time you think so uh, significant if you see it's not ever going to load what you do then is just exit the app restart your xbox or you can simply just go to settings and check to see if your xbox currently has an update out you can just do that by going to check for the updates it has a little setting there that just says check for updates and you just leave it for a bit and it'll tell you if there's any update or not if there's no update you go back to the insider app and you try and do it again. If there is an update though, you just click download and let the Xbox update it. It shouldn't be more than about 500 megabytes. Mine was about 400 something. So you just download that. Make sure that you have the latest version of Fortnite and then you're all good to go. Then all that's left to do is hook up your keyboard and your mouse. Now currently the Xbox supports any keyboard and mouse so you can use any type. I'm currently using a Razer mouse and keyboard. And then basically you just hook it up. I'm using a wireless one. So then, uh, yeah, I actually mean wired one, sorry, uh, confusion right there. But yeah, I'm using a wired mouse and keyboard, so I'm just going to hook it up with the USB and put it into the Xbox, and then you're good to go. Then really all you need to do is go into Fortnite or whatever Apple game is supported at the moment. Currently, Fortnite's one of the major ones. So then anyway, you go into Fortnite, and then as you can see, it is working all right. You know, it's decent. Currently, it's a bit buggy on my device, and I'm sure other people's devices as well have been having this problem where it's a bit buggy, especially the mouse part. The keyboard's working decently, but the mouse is still a bit buggy, and it's, uh, it's just kind of glitchy. It's not really nice to use at the moment, but it is doable, and I don't think this problem is for everyone, but definitely for some of us, so you can just check it out for yourself. But anyway, guys, that's just a quick tutorial on how you can get keyboard and mouse support. If you have any questions, just comment it down below. I'm sorry if this quality was garbage. I know it was just a quick little video to get this out to you all so that you guys know how to use keyboard and mouse epic games like i said and xbox didn't really make this clear so i just wanted to tell you all but anyway guys that's basically it once again you just need the xbox insider app go into it follow the prompts and you should be good to go download the new update for your xbox and make sure your fortnite's updated and with that you should be good to go anyways i hope you enjoy keyboard and mouse on xbox but with that i'll see you all next time peace out